Hello. You guys friendly? Apparently not. I'm not surprised with the big messes you've been living in the river there. Yeah, we all think it's clay, but we know what that really is, don't we? I thought so. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Journey of Life. Uh, as you can see, I've done a little bit of clay gathering and decided to go and uh, clean up in the wood, in the river there. And uh, apparently, a lot of those chunks there had already taken a few good whacks at, and it was just one hit, and they came down. And apparently, I got bushes growing back in my house again, so uh, we might have to rebuild this a little bit. I'm just gonna leave that there for now. I'm just gonna take it out, but it's not gonna be worthwhile, really. Uh, what I do want to do is sort of want to expand the platform today. All right. Build a house, I should say, not build, expand the platform. Uh, I do gotta gather a few more branches though, because I know the branches do need a few. I love these one hit wonders. And I also love the fact of being able to actually see what's on the ground just by opening up my inventory and not having to, you know, search around and try to find everything. I know there used to be a thing that would highlight stuff on the ground, but that was a little on the cheaty side. But, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, start expanding this way away from the foliage. I know I didn't build, uh, get anything around here. Uh, well, I haven't decided really where I want to go with the, the series yet. Just sort of playing it ear, uh, playing it day by day, and seeing where we go and all that stuff. I knew, do know we got to go into the caving sooner or later. I do know we got to upgrade that workbench too. And I think we're gonna do this. All right, so now I gotta get the hammer and get uh, get that out. Yeah, and finish. Building all this stuff up. Now this will take me a, a moment or two, so I guess I will do this off camera so you don't have to painfully watch me hammer these one by one by one. Okay, so there's foundation. Now I'm thinking I'm going to put another foundation on the front here, sort of like a, a front sort of doorway for instance. It's going to be off center. Hmm. Maybe we'll do it this way instead. Go this way. That'll be the front here. This will be the sort of the main part of the house, which will extend into um, a little work yard in the back. In fact, might even extend this a little bit too. Uh, the two side, two on the sides there, I'll take down. I'll have to move those chests too to get them out of the way. So let me finish these up, and I'll be right back. And there we go. Now, one thing I actually want to do is I want to look at uh, getting these planks set up. Now, what do we need for the, the, the woodworks? Go to stations here, and then go to stations. Make sure I click properly. So I need four logs and four fiber rope. Uh, I just need to make one fiber rope. I can do that. Uh, is that crafting? Yes, it is. And I did have logs. I have enough, too. Perfect. That would be even funnier. It's if you would see the log sticking on my backpack, and even then, I don't know how I managed to get a log this size in that chest. But, you know, it's a game. What do you expect? Okay, so let's go ahead and build uh, woodworks. So we can make some planks, and I want to actually upgrade those foundations to see how they turn out. Uh, yes, there is farming in the game now, too, so that's going to be something we'll look at. Um, again, that for the time being... Vitals aren't really an issue because apparently it seems that everything gets taken care of when you sleep. And we'll just put that there, go ahead and pull up the hammer and hit it with the hammer, not my fist. This isn't Minecraft after all. You can't just punch down a tree. Alright, so now if I go in here, um, I should... Okay, what do we have here? Nothing. Uh, do I have any logs? I do. I have one log. Let's see what happens when I... Put that there. Oh! Interesting. That's not what I wanted. Um...
Hmm. No, as an upgrade. Uh, what am I looking for here? Uh, it's not a map. Um. Nope. Hmm. Let me figure this out. Hold on. Okay, I think I figured it out. I'm gonna open up my inventory to do this. So I go there and choose plank. It is doing something. Apparently. I hear hammering or chopping or something. Uh, hang on. Interesting. So I had to look up on Steam on this, and apparently this is a little more hands-on than I thought. So yeah, you put it on there, you select the recipe you want, then you actually have to use your axe and chop it. Apparently. We're saying about six times along the length. Apparently. Oh, there's a status bar. Oh, look at that. It's right at the end there. Go and hit it again. So there's something I'm missing here. One spot. Yeah, so as you can see, you gotta go the whole length. There they are. That is very interesting. Let me go do this. Pick all these up wherever they have flown on there and so yeah we got four planks out of one log now let's see how much it takes to actually upgrade this okay, so we're gonna go to the hammer change it to upgrade mode and we need four planks oh yeah i'm still in upgrade mode haha <laughs> i gotta go to build now oh construct all right, I want to see how long this takes, or how, even how it looks. Just curious, you know, see how it goes. I actually do like how they got the things more hands-on, where you, you don't just put it on there, you get your, your planks right away, you actually have to go out and go there and actually chop the log. Uh, that's the journey of life for you, huh? You can't, do everything, can't expect everything, everybody to do everything for you, you have to do it yourself. I actually like that. Not really planks, more of uh, four by four posts, but uh, that works. So let's go take a quick nap. I actually wanted to want to see if I could, it is possible to actually upgrade my bed. Uh, no, uh, let's see. You was it? Ooh, oh, I need nails, and I can't sleep now because I destroyed my bed. Uh, okay, I gotta make a bed, and I'll be back in the morning. Okay, that's better. I managed to run over to the, the river and get some more of those leaves without running to the warthogs because it was pitch black. I couldn't see anything because, you know, it's dark at night, right? Speaking of which, what do you want? I better get some railings up. Alright, let's see what we have for walls. Let's see if we have different types of walls. We got wall, we got doorway, wall with arch, and we have corner walls. Or 45 degree walls. Interesting. All right, well, uh, I guess we'll start with the doorway. Oh, I need pillars, do I? Really? Where do I need the pillars? Is it there and there? Oh, don't tell me I have to have a pillar on every corner. Oh, that's going to be fun if it is. Uh, walls, door. Okay, and then we'll go to uh, window. The window is over here. So I gotta have a pillar everywhere a wall's gonna be. Interesting. Oh. But I like that. This is an L that looks like a V to me. Let's actually see what this looks like. Okay, I see. That one's that way. And then this one should be 
taking a corner so I can do something like that just to get some aesthetics in here and let's go back to go back to walls uh, go here and then you're not gonna fit there so I gotta put it well you will fit but I gotta put another pillar and I might actually just do these just for the look of them uh, fortunately I think I have to do it every single spot where I'm gonna have one I actually like that. Uh, let me get some walls up here and I'll bring you back with the final product and we'll see all of it. And here we are a couple days later in game. It did take me a little while to get up some resources. And I don't really like the look of it. It definitely has a, a weathered look to it, but I do like the, the pillar setup. So it does look kind of nice. The only thing I did notice is kind of overhang. There might be something we could put down there when the time comes, but this is what we got so far. Um, I don't want to do it on the door. I want to want to see it on the wall. I want to see how long, how much it's going to take to upgrade it. Uh, what's well, going to take to upgrade it? Going to need three planks. Hmm. I have a log on me. I want I want to see this. Let's do this quickly here. All right. Um. Okay. We do that. We go over here. Uh, we highlight that. Um. As soon as my character stops swaying side to side. Planks, okay, and let's start chopping. Now I don't know if there's any certain places you have to actually hit it, and I just read that you're supposed to go along the length of it, and eventually it creates a plank, so I guess you there's a uh, certain spots you have to hit. Just like that. Cool. And it has an inventory too, even better. Oh, we're gonna pick them up one at a time. That sucks. Yeah, I got fired that time. Cool. Okay, let's get into here. We got to construct and let's see how the uh, plank wall works. Definitely a lot more durable. I'm almost scared to see what the next tier is. Uh, we'll wait till we're a little more settled before we start messing around with that stuff. And, oh man. Yeah. 200 health, not 100. Or durability, whatever. You got a health sign. And see what it is. I almost like that better, but it's not bad. Can we upgrade the pillars? Uh, no. No upgrade mode available for them. Okay, that is fine. So now what I want to do is uh, I want to clean up some inventory and maybe I want to go check out that cave because to be quite honest, realistically, until we get start getting some metal and nails and stuff, we don't really have much. And I don't know what that uh, white ghosting is. I don't know if you've been seeing that, but that's been confusing me. I don't know what it is. I was seeing it my first night. It was pitch black, so I was seeing it everywhere. Every time I moved, I would see it. Okay, and uh, I'd be happy when I can start building larger chests. Uh, yeah, let's stick the planks in there. Why not? They're oversized of the box, anyways. And then, uh, actually, I did have chests over here. And I remember where I had put all my clay. I didn't have to go run to the river again. Alright, we'll do that. And I don't have anything else in the other ones, did I? No. Uh, not the pull of feathers in there. Uh, I'm sure the only thing we really need to import is arrows. And. Yeah. Alright, let us go to the cave. Let's go explore this thing. I'm avoiding my neighbors. And uh, mouse is kinda... There we go. Mouse wasn't hiding, I don't know if it was showing up in the video or not, but I had a mouse flying around my screen. Normally it's a fly, but this time it was a mouse. Okay, let's go check out this cave, and hopefully there's nothing... Nothing that wants to eat me in there. No, I apologize. It's going to be a little dark. I'll see if I can adjust the brightness. Hold on. There does not seem to be any brightness settings at all. Or gamma or anything like that. But let's explore this cave, shall we? This almost pre-built cave, huh? Alright, so what do we have here? We got some big old rocks. I saw some floating there. Okay. That's grass. I actually thought that was a spider or something. Okay, so this is interesting. You can clearly tell what's copper and what's not. 
copper, stone. What else we got in here? Ooh, lots of good stuff. So what else do we have? Let's see if we can find any other ores in here. Eh, it doesn't look like it. Looks like we're starting off with copper, which is fine, because that's usually where we start off with. Uh, where was that big, I mean, copper one I was looking at? This one right here. Alright, let's see how long it takes to take this thing down. Not too long, actually. Before I start, see if there's anything on the ground nearby. Always comes in handy to find out what's around you if you can't see it. And, kind of find it funny there's sparks even though that's not technically metal. Aha! Copper. Oh yeah, I was reading the tool tip on that. Is that all we're going to get out of that one big giant chunk? Is that? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I uh, clicked out my window. Hmm. That doesn't really give you much for that big giant chunk of rock. Alright, well, let's get some more, I guess. Uh, let's see here. Go after this one. I don't know how much I'm going to need, but we'll need some. Now, fortunately, there's no actual physics in this game, so we can have floating rocks, or at least we used to have floating rocks. Right, two more copper. Such a waste. And I'm wondering if this stuff is actually going to respawn too over time. It almost makes me wonder if there's stuff underneath it. Let me do a little bit of mining here and see what I can uncover and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I was only able to, able to get six uh, chunks. There's another boulder I broke, but I guess uh, chunks fell underneath another boulder and I'd have to dig it out. and. I didn't feel like doing that today with stone tools, so I thought we'd come back and start pro progressing a little bit. So th what we got to do next is we got to go ahead and make the furnace, the first level furnaces for actually smelting the ores. We're going to need clay, we're going to need an air chamber, and some branches. Uh, I don't have any sticks on me. Or clay, I should say. I've got plenty of clay in here now that I actually remember where it is. So we'll go ahead and take three stacks, because I'm probably going to need it all. And we're going to take some branches. Do I have branches? I have some branches, yes. Alright, so we'll go ahead and make the air chamber. And then after that's done, then we should be able to make the this. But then we ha I have to make all this other stuff too, like the smelting pot and the casting funnel and the molds, just to make this. Alright, uh, um, make nails, yes. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to progress into the next workbench, sort of. Let's put that there for now, we can always move it later. And did I not pick up the funnel? I did, okay. Because I had room in my inventory. Okay, so there's that, and then I think... I think I want to move that workbench inside. This one I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna just upgrade it when the time comes. Uh, so yeah, just move. They do have hotkeys, you go over the button, either you push U to upgrade or X to move it. So it, that is kind of handy. I'm going to go and put this over in here for now and slowly return it. I was going to say rotating, but that's why I said returning. Okay, I'll go here, we make a smelting pot. Let that go, and then we're going to do a casting funnel, and then... Uh, then we gotta make a mold. So anyways, uh, let me get that stuff crafted up and we'll be back. I think probably have to fire it too. Okay, all done. And yes, as I thought, we have to... I have to, um... Bake the mold, yes. Words don't... Words don't want to work with me today. So let's see, where's my fire starter? There's my fire starter. We'll go and leave that on the hot bar. If I can. Okay, I gotta put it in my inventory first. Uh, I think I do.
So what? I cannot use hot bar five or four. Uh, where'd you go? Where did you go? You moved on me. Uh oh, I lost my fire starter. Oh, it's in my hands, apparently. Sure. That works. Oh. This guy can jump, I tell you. What am I doing trying on the on an island? I should be in the NBA. Alright, um... Now, how do I split up stacks? Ah, uh, there's only three sticks there, so whatever. Alright, and... Go ahead and equip the fire starter. Firing up. I just gotta put this clay mold in here, like so. We'll close the door. And then here, I believe, I gotta have a smelting pot somewhere. Should go somewhere. Nope, not there. Nope. Alright, get that out of there. What happens when they change things on you? You have to learn everything all over again. Hmm. So I put fuel there. Oh, we're gonna find out in a minute. Are you done? Almost. That's some fast cooking. Okay. Take that out. Close that. Not that it matters. Alright, now what do I have for fuel on me? Got some branches. Let's throw that in there. Go ahead and start that up. Ah, uh, temperature rises fast. Alright, um... I can't remember how to split stacks. Uh, let me look into this for a second. I've, I've figured it out. It was actually a friend of mine that actually posted it on Steam. Uh, you have to hold shift while you're moving the stock, and it allows you to choose how many you want to move. So I want to put three in there. So I'll split that. Put those three in there. And now what do I do? Temperature's still going up. Okay. It should be melting pretty soon here. 11.30 melting. Now, am I going to lose this because I don't have a mold or casting pot or something because I have no idea where I'm supposed to be putting this thing? Usually it's pretty self-explanatory. Processed copper ore. Okay. And what do I do with this? Make sure I still got fuel. Take that one out. Now, what do I do with this? Hmm. You would think that it would go into the mold. Uh, I'm not seeing anything really. I think it would be in here, if anything, but that's not even in there. And not in there, and we're going to stations, let's see. Uh, huh. Interesting. I'm wondering if this is the thing I need the, the furnace for. Or not the furnace, the, the camp stove. And now let's see what happens when I put the processed or copper back in there. Nothing. And it won't let me take it out. I don't know why. I bugged out the game. Ha ha ha. I lost my copper. Did I? I think I did. Okay, well then, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and process the other three and wait for that. Now as far as the smelting pot. Hmm. I have a feeling it's got something to do with this. 
So oh, does this go on top? It does. The station part though. Hmm. Let me look into this. Okay, so it seems there's a step I'm missing. I'm actually supposed to be crushing my ore. So that means I gotta make a crushing station. Or a cru was it a crushing table, I think it was called. Which I think was something I was doing before. Again, it's been so long since I played. Uh, yes, yeah, so we gotta make one of these. And then, I guess... Hmm. Put it right there for now. I should have everything on me. Except sticks, because I burned them all. Ah, that's okay, because I got a whole bunch in one of these chests, or... I should. Of course I do. Since when do I throw anything out? Okay, and the mouse is screwed on me again. Okay, there we go. It's gone. Oh, jumping way too much. Okay, go ahead and finish this up. Oh, yeah, I gotta make those things too. They make four of those. Now, it's saying that I, I'm supposed to be putting the nuggets back in here again. They're supposed to melt down, but I have a feeling I got the wrong furnace. I'm not too sure, because I don't see anywhere I'm supposed to be putting that melting pot or even the cat. Oh. Wait, could the funnel go there? No. That's. Come on, stop hitting the wrong button. Huh. We're gonna find out in a minute here. Okay. Now we can move that, so. Let us take our processed copper, we put it on top, and we hammer it. Again, where these sparks are coming from, I have no idea. I don't know how many hits it takes. We're going to find out pretty soon here. Oh, there's one nugget. And there's... For being a soft material, it sure takes a long time to work. Well, it's soft, but it's dense. Ever heard of copper nails, Bull? Apparently, that's all we need, though. Sure, I'm okay with that. Okay, let's see. Uh, I just used it smelting various parts. Now, apparently, I'm supposed to put this right back in here. Okay, I need, uh, let's split that up. Split, split. Put two in there. And we'll go ahead and light it back up. Now let's see what happens. I might have them in the wrong spot. And I did have to figure out how to get those out last time. Somewhere. If we get close enough to this furnace. Should be able to get him out. Let me get him before. Come on. It's like right on the side here. Uh oh. Lost me nuggets. Well, I'm going to consider those. Uh, let's see here. Is that actually gonna work? Or do I have to actually click? There we go. It came out. Okay, let's try this again. Take them out. Put them in the middle. And then we'll go ahead and light it up again. Well, I guess I'm going to let that sit for a little bit, and I'll be right back. Eureka! I figured it out. I had to upgrade it. So I need clay, branches. Got clay, I need branches, and I have my pot there. So let's go and see what I got for branches. I might have to go cut down some more bushes or something. Possibly. No, nothing in there. And nothing in there. And nothing in there. So I got to go cut down a bush. I'll be right back. Okay, I got it. 
So, I'm going to go back to the hammer, construct mode, and we just hit it a bunch of times. Yeah, I was trying to figure that out, and apparently I wasn't the only one having problems with it. And apparently it was just about, uh... They were talking about two holes, and I only saw the one. I was saying Furnace 1.0 and Furnace 2.0 include enemy. Oh, well, maybe I should actually upgrade the damn thing. And what well, do you know, it worked. So then I think what I gotta do... Is I think I put the mold down here. Oh, snaps right on. Perfect. Now, this side is for processing ores. This side is for actually producing things. And I seem to have a bad couple of stick keys here. Okay, so we'll split that into three. Put that on the right side. And then I am not to put more fuel in it, of course. Do that. And then go back to four and we'll light her up. Okay, that's going. And then that is going to be... Casting status false. Oh yeah, because it's not actually casting anything yet. Okay, oh, I saw that other nugget went. I wonder where that went. So I want to see what it costs to upgrade this other table here. Oh. It's already started. Alright, so i got to make some, a couple of planks while I'm waiting. I did find one on the ground, so that just means I need one more log. Now, oh, well, i got two planks in there too. Alright, I'm going to cut down a tree. Oh, <laughs> I'm ahead of myself here. I already had a plank on the already had a plank on the, the woodworks. Now I don't know if you have to go the whole length or not if you just sit here and hit it, but from what I was seeing it wasn't updating uh, the progress bar there. This is just until for now until we start getting uh, the windmill going and we start getting some like actual automation get the sawmill and oh yeah that was uh, another one I forgot they actually put a lathe into the game what you make with the lathe I have no idea but it's gonna be an interesting thing to figure out so have you cast it yet you did all right so we take that and then apparently and we just right click it Oh, there we go. Copper nails. And the mold is reusable. So, uh, I guess we'll just upgrade this one. Now uh, we'll go EU. And then go to Hammer. And we'll upgrade this and see what we can make with it. Nothing, because I need more nails. I'm smart, aren't I? Okay, so we'll do that. And then we'll use that. And hopefully, I have enough fuel left to keep it going. Oh yeah, I do. Oh, nuggets didn't actually go in the hole. Oh, never mind, they did. Cool. Alright, and we go ahead and drop that and take those nails out. Oh, okay. Oh, there they are. Didn't see them. Okay. And there we go. Now what can we build? Well, that's all basic stuff. There we go. We can already start making glass. That's cool. Machine built. Now we're starting to get the, uh, the mechanical stuff. So copper tin. Yeah, we can make iron now because we got that thing. Oh, because we got this upgraded. Nice. All bar a whole bunch of stuff now. That's cool. New backpack. Need leather, so that means we're going to have to start hunting the, the warthog soon enough. Uh, nothing new in there. And in stations, there is drying rack, canning rack, fiber breaker. Interesting. Threadworks, loom, make bigger chests, which needs planks. And then we start getting to the windmill and the... All sorts of, lots of stuff, wow. Sewing machine, press, anvil. This is where you actually have to start making tools with the anvil and you have to uh, start processing ingots out of it. And then we got the forge and the lathe as, as I mentioned. Now, is there an upgrade to this? No, there isn't. Well, anyways, I think that's going to be a good place to 
end it here. Got, got our, our first metal working going. Got some weird ass looking furnace going <laughs> with what looks like residue dripping off of it. It's drooling. It's so happy. Uh, but yeah, we made our nails. We got our first our workbench upgraded and we're ready to start processing and stuff. So I think in the next episode we'll probably look at getting the windmill and some other things like the sawmill and stuff and try to get some more production going. But for that, for that, oh, I'm sorry. But for that, we're going to call it here and uh, maybe I'll do a little bit of a little bit more work on here. I definitely am going to be clearing out a bunch of these trees to get some supplies before the next episode. But anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.